So here we have a vehicle with a 2.1 generation wheel bearing that has been fitted with a snap ring. The process to replace it is a little less complicated, but we still have to remove the wheel, braking system and drive shaft. But if I didn't have a special tool available, I'd still be able to carry out the repair using a hydraulic press, right? Yeah, it's possible, but after the repair has been completed, you might have to align the axles. Aha, uh -huh. so it would always be faster to do it with the special tools, yeah? Definitely. As far as this wall bearing generation is concerned, the hub is removed with the bearing attached. And again, we recommend using the hydraulic tool. Wow, that was fixed tight, huh? Yeah, but it has to be. Here you can clearly see the groove where the retainer clicked into place and the snap ring is completely destroyed. Okay, so that means that this wheel bearing should not be used under any circumstances. Never. And it's also important to point out, clean, remove rust and check the bearing seat. Great, and it's also important to remember that the new wheel bearing should only be taken out of the box when you're ready to fit it, or it could get damaged, right? Very good, well remembered. And again, we are using our special tools. Though the difference here is that there are two clamps and the appropriate bolts to hold the inner and outer races together. Because firstly, the bearing has to be pressed in over the outer race, and secondly, the snap ring has to be held in place. Otherwise, it would not click into place correctly. So, I cannot simply take the tool and press the wheel bearing in? No, that way you could fit it over the wrong bearing race and the snap ring wouldn't be in the correct position. I don't understand. Okay. The force would be directed from the hub into the inner race, through the balls and onto the outer race. And that would ultimately lead to premature failure of the bearing. So that means I always have to use these clamps? Absolutely. So, Tommy is almost pressed in the bearing. In a moment, we'll hear how the snap ring clicks into place. Now, it's important to continue to increase the pressure to ensure that the snap ring has been fully clicked into place. By the way, the part that we offer is identical to the one that is fitted by the vehicle manufacturer. And, especially with this wheel bearing, there are other suppliers that do not use the snap ring. But do you really think a vehicle manufacturer would fit a wheel bearing with a snap ring if it wasn't absolutely necessary? Nope. You see? Now everything has to be reassembled. And again, you can see there are additional parts in the box that are necessary for the repair job. And again, they are all OE quality parts. So you can see it's not rocket science. Yet, there are rules that need to be followed or something could go very wrong.